Hello there everyone, this is Seb, and I welcome you to Let's Play DuckTales on the NES. It's a goodie, it's an oldie, it needs to be played, and we're gonna do that right now. Anyway, uh, there's three difficulty settings, easy, normal, and difficult. Well, this game never really gets too difficult, so why don't we just go with difficult. I'll go over the uh, differences in, uh, in another video, I think. Anyway, here we are in... Uh, Uncle Scrooge his uh, big lair with his uh, computer straight out of the 50s. I guess he's not much for upgrades. <laughs> and a world map which i pretty sure doesn't really look like the world map as we know it. But eh, who am I kidding? It's nothing like it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's a really arcane uh, computer there. But oh well, it, it works. I mean, if it serves its purpose, then why... Uh, why upgrade, I guess. And down there we have Louie, Huey, and Louie again? At least I think Louie is the uh, green one. Uh, or maybe one of them is actually Dewey having the clothes on from his brother. I don't know. Anyway, just like in uh, some other Capcom classics, you can choose the stages... Uh, you can choose how you play them in which order. Uh, if you want to have a slightly easier time, then go for Transylvania and the Himalayas uh, first, because there is an upgrade to be found in both of those stages. I'm just going to play it as we all remember it from the first time, and that is straight from the top. So let's play the Amazon first. At least i that's the first one I tried back then. Anyway, here's uh, Scrooge McDuck in all his glory. And what is his... Trademark weapon? Well, he didn't have one. But he does have a cane, and if you push up against an object and press B, he can swing his cane in a golf motion and diamonds pop out. Very handy. And there's something else he can do with it, and that is pogo stick around. And that is how you defeat enemies. You can also um, smack objects into them, which also works. I mean, you don't want to get objects smacked into you, do you? That hurts! The chests, they uh, will just float around and rocks will have a slight arc and then drop down again. But not fully, as you can see. For some reason... Oh, hello. Uh, for some reason that one didn't go. Hey, snake! Bye, snake! But yeah, this is DuckTales. I'm sure most of you pr probably know it. Um, The object of the game is, of course, to get the uh, hidden treasures. And speaking of hidden treasures, there's some secrets here. Uh, it was kind of cool to see. I haven't played this game in like uh, 12 years or so. But as I did my test run, I remembered pretty much all of these secrets uh, right off the bat. So that, that's pretty cool. That some things you just keep in memory. Pretty cool. What I really had to get used to again is how the pogo jump actually works. Um, the way you do it is uh, jumping is just with A. Now if you press B and down, you'll get his pogo stick out. Now here's the thing, and this is this was kinda hard for me to get right because I'm more used to DuckTales 2. There you can just press B and do that. But here no, you need to keep down press as well. But only for the first bounce. Like now I'm not I'm only holding B down. And he just keeps bounding uh, bouncing about uh, until you let go of B. But for the first bound, you must really uh, keep down, uh, press down. And that was kind of confusing for me. Especially needed for parts here where you uh, need to let go and time it a bit, you know, better than me. Like so. That was more like it. And these spiders can be very annoying because they're a bit finicky in how they uh, move up and down. But we'll see more of them later on. Oh, <laughs> don't you worry about those. But there's more annoying enemies to come. Like, uh, they should... Yeah, there they are. The bees. The bees are my bane of DuckTales. That is... They are kind of like the Medusa heads of this game. And they are annoying as all. But, uh, oh well. We'll manage somehow. There's a nice little secret cranny over here with some treasure. A red diamond is, I think, 50,000 dollars 
and a yellow diamond is 10,000 and one of the small gem thingies is 2,000. Oops. <laughs> Kinda cool that the game does uh, trick you out sometimes. But yeah, there's some ice cream here and as we all know, ice cream is good for your health, of course. And now we make our way back. It's also cool that, uh, yeah, there are alternating paths in these levels. It will never get too complicated where it becomes mazy, but, you know, it's kind of cool uh, that there is some uh, alternate paths. I never missed that. How did I miss that? <laughs> oh, well, there's a first time for everything. Uh, this should work better. Yeah, I, uh, I just bounced up in that wall and that got me all messed up. So anyway, very fun game. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play. If you haven't played it, then no! Then you really should. Because it's really cool. Ouch. That wasn't very smart. As I said, I hate these bees. These bees are annoying. Although, uh, well, the real Matusa heads are much worse. They have a bigger arc. Yeah, thanks for flying in my path. Alright, let's go Turbo. What? <laughs> uh, and actually I mean lunch pack, uh, lunch pack McQuack of course. But in the Dutch dubbing he's called Turbo McQuack for some reason. So, uh, you know, it's kind of automatic where I say Turbo. Ouch. There's actually an animation for Scrooge when he, uh, uh <laughs> when he goes on in top of those, uh, plants where he gets eaten. Uh, ah, I think I can show something up as well here. Because right now, uh, see that 6 in my money counter? Well, if that's a 7, then Launchpad will do a little secret if he takes you back. Uh, and every level, except, you, except for 1, Launchpad can take you back uh, and you can come back to the level and collect the money again. You can only do that once. Uh, why you only want to do that once? Well, it's because uh, you want to get as much money as possible. Now I have a 7 in my 10,000 uh, spot. So I'm going to ask him to take us back. And normally he would just go to the, to the left, but of course it's lunch pad. So, you know, he has to crash sometime. But uh, Gyro is here to save the day. Called Willy Wartel in the Dutch version. Uncle Scrooge, by the way, is called Oom Dagobert in the Dutch version. Not sure why they changed all the names around, but, uh, eh. Anyway, we're back home, so, uh, let's cash in that money. And let's go at it again. I'll just, uh, speed this one up so we are where we all were before, so, join me there. And here we are again, where Launchpad used to be. As you can see, he's now gone, so you only get one chance per level to go back and collect some extra money. Now you might be wondering, why would you want to collect extra money? Well, it's quite simple, there's multiple endings, and depending on how much money you make, you get uh, a different ending. Um, there's three endings in total. And the first ending is the easiest to get, that means you need to get uh, between zero and um, what was the other amount? Ten million. Yeah, that was smart. Thanks, thanks for that show, Seb. That was really great. I want to show something here. The second one and best ending is if you collect ten million or up. And the third me ending, which I didn't even know uh, about, is when you collect zero dollars, which is quite hard. Anyway, uh, there's a little secret passage as you can see. 
If you drop down here, you get to the boss. We want to collect as much money as possible as we just discussed, so I w just wanted to show it. And uh, we're moving onwards whoa, for uh, some extra money right now. Oh, that was well worth the effort. Ah, I just missed him. Get lost. So, uh, yeah, it's quite a unique game with uh, some multiple endings. Quite fun for a platformer. Now you've got this douchebag who wants 300,000 even uh, to make a block appear. Of course, we're Scrooge McDuck, so we say screw that and uh, don't go for it at all because we've got these helpful fellows and they can be used as a platform as well oh yeah Scrooge McDuck is um, very much harassing the uh, natives here in the Amazon because yeah he's the good guy remember ooh free guy always nice here just walk quickly you know a bit of an Indiana Jones style thing going on in this temple and up here we get to uh, incorporate that advice from uh, Dewey with this easy boss. This might be the easiest boss uh, in the game because he doesn't do anything except jump at you. Ooh, scary. Now you might think, well, he makes the ground shake, so, you know, you'll be stunned for a bit. Now that would be good, but no. No, nothing like that. So... Easy boss, and we get the uh, nice staff thing. So let's take that, which is worth one million dollars, which is good because we're gonna need uh, all the money we can get to get to that ten million dollars. Uh, hopefully, I can do it with only uh, going back to base just the once, uh, which I wanted to do to show off the uh, seventy thousand trick. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Anyway guys, that was it for uh, part 1. Join me next time when we go to Transylvania. Until then, take care. Bye bye for now.